Proverbs chapter 15. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up displeasure. The tongue of the wise makes knowledge good, but the mouth of fools pours out foolishness. The eyes of Yahuwah are in every place, watching the evil and the good. A healing tongue is a tree of chai, but perverseness in it crushes the spirit. A fool despises his father's discipline, but he who heeds reproof is clever. The household of the righteous is a great treasure, but in the income of the wicked is trouble. The lips of the wise scatter knowledge, but the heart of fools is not so. The slaughtering of the wicked is an abomination to Yahuwah, but the prayer of the straight is his delight. The way of the wicked is an abomination to Yahuwah, but he loves him who pursues righteousness. Discipline is grievous to him who forsakes the way. He who hates reproof dies. The grave and destruction are before Yahuwah. How much more the hearts of the sons of men. A scoffer does not love his reprover, nor does he go to the wise. A glad heart makes good a face, but by sorrow of heart the spirit is stricken. The heart of the understanding one seeks knowledge, but the mouth of fools feeds on folly. All the days of the afflicted are evil, but gladness of heart is a continual feast. Better is a little with the reverence of Yahuwah than great treasure with trouble. Better is a meal of vegetables where love is than a fatted calf with hatred. A man of wrath stirs up strife, but he who is patient appeases strife. The way of a lazy one is like a hedge of thorns, but the way of the straight is a highway. A wise son makes a father glad, but a foolish man despises his mother. Folly is joy to one lacking heart, but a man of understanding walks straight. Without counsel, plans are nullified, but by great counselors they are established. A man has joy by the answer of his mouth, and how good is a word in its season. The path of Chai is upward for the wise to turn away from the grave below. Yahuwah tears down the house of the proud, and he establishes the boundary of the widow. Evil thoughts are an abomination to Yahuwah, but pleasant words are clean. He who is greedy for gain troubles his own house, but he who hates bribes lives. The heart of the righteous ponders how to answer, but the mouth of the wicked pours out evil. Yahuwah is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. The light of the eyes rejoices the heart. A good report gives marrow to the bones. An ear that hears the reproof of Chai dwells among the wise. He who ignores discipline hates himself, but he who listens to reproof gets understanding. The reverence of Yahuwah is the discipline of wisdom, and before esteem is humility.